Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Victoria and I run Time and Tenderness here on YouTube and on Instagram. I share all sorts of homemaking, cooking, cleaning, and traditional living videos. So let's get started with today's video. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm sorry if I'm speaking a little bit softly. My husband is currently working from home and is on a conference call, so I'm trying not to be too loud. But for today's video, I am going to be taking you with me on a garden tour. So I have started my 2020 garden and I figured now would be a great time to show you what I am planning on growing, what I am currently growing, and even offer some tips and tricks on how you can start your own garden. Right now with the state of everything that's going on with the COVID-19 virus and all that, a lot of grocery stores are running dry on a lot of supplies. So now would be a great time to consider gardening because if you can grow your own food, you're pretty much set for the season. So let me show you what I currently have growing. I will offer you tips and tricks. And once again, guys, because my husband is working from home, I cannot guarantee that I will be able to edit this video on my computer. So if it is a little bit rough around the edges, I do apologize. So let's get started. So the first stop on our little garden tour is right here in my kitchen. I currently have growing some windowsill plants. And I have three plants here and I'll show them to you. These are my sun, actually these are my pea sprouts. So these, um, you can eat them or you can transplant them in the future into your garden to grow peas. But right now we are just eating them. I'm chopping them off as we go and we're adding them to our salads. And they're very high in nutrients. So I have this growing on my windowsill. I also have some sunflower sprouts. Once again, you can save some of these and plant them so that you can have some sunflowers or you can continue to pick off the leaves to eat them because they are nice and nutritious. And then lastly, I have my microgreens, which these are radish microgreens, very high in nutrients, are very delicious and you can just add them to your salad or even just use them as a garnish to top your dishes with. So that's what I have growing inside. I will leave a link in the description down below as to where you can purchase your own little windowsill garden. I got this off Amazon, it came right in the mail and it just grows right here above my kitchen sink. Okay guys, so next on my little garden tour, I apologize if you hear a lot of wind. It is very windy today and Layla is barking in the background because she's in the front yard and can't get to me here on the side deck. So right outside my kitchen door on our side deck where we get a lot of sun, I have planted two pots of lettuce and greens. So this first pot here is just filled with an assortment of greens and there's a car driving by. And then in this pot right here, I have an assortment of romaine lettuce. What is really great about growing these types of plants right outside your kitchen door in pots is that you can do a technique called cut and come again. So what that entails is that you go and you cut off the biggest leaves on the plant, saving the little leaves in the middle to continue growing. And you will get a great harvest of greens for weeks and weeks, even months and months to come, depending on how early you planted these. So like March and early April are great times to plant these types of plants because, I'm sorry, Layla is running through the yard with a stick. Because these types of plants, they really enjoy the cooler weather. They enjoy full sun, but cooler weather, not freezing, but that early spring crisp air. So I'm going to zoom you guys in in just a minute and I'm going to show you how to do the cut and come again technique so that you can continue growing greens pretty much almost all season. Look at that, we have a whole 
salad that'll probably last us a couple days once I go inside and wash this and chop it up and make it into a nice chopped salad. We'll be eating off of this for a couple days and by the time next week rolls around, these greens will once again have grown and we can cut off some more to have more for days to come. Okay guys, so once again, I am back in the house. I'm gonna go out the front door to our garden outside there. I brought Layla in and gave her a treat so she isn't barking at me when I'm outside. So I don't know how much I'll be able to talk to you when I'm outside because it is very windy outside and I almost lost my camera. The wind almost blew it over. So I will continue showing you the rest of my garden. I might have to use, use captions or I'll still be able to talk to you. We'll see how it goes. Okay guys, so we are out here in the garden. I don't know how well you can hear me. It is very windy and breezy out on this wonderful spring day. It's nice and sunny. But as you can see, I now have four garden beds. If you watched my garden tour from last year, I only had two garden beds. So now I have four and I am very excited. So let me take you inside and show you around. Okay guys, so here in this first garden bed, I have some yellow squash and so these are vine type plants so they will get really big and you need to plant multiples of them because they are the type of plants that you need to go in and hand pollinate yourself in order to get a crop growing. So this first garden bed is all zucchini and squash. Now you saw me plant potatoes a few weeks ago in this garden bed. So far there's not that much growing yet so in a few weeks we will see some change. There is a truck going by. So yeah, you will see some change in things starting to sprout. I'm not seeing any sprouts yet. Potatoes do take time, so we are looking at about a May harvest for these potatoes that I planted a few weeks ago. As far as this other new garden bed goes, I have two rows of carrot seeds and actually three rows of carrot seeds and two rows of green beans. So we're, again, we're not seeing that much activity yet, but I do hope within the next two or three weeks we will see some sprouts coming through the soil. Finally, this last big garden bed that was from last year, I don't have anything planted in it yet. I hope to get some tomatoes, some tomatoes, some peppers, maybe some eggplant, who knows. But those are all plants that need to be planted when it's a little bit warmer out. I didn't get a chance to start seeds this year because I had been hoping to go on a early spring vacation. Unfortunately, that is not happening anymore. So I did not start seeds because I was thinking I was gonna be out of the country. But I will be buying plants later when it is warm. But the only thing I have growing right now in this garden bed is my oregano, which is going on three years old. I am so proud of this oregano. It keeps coming back stronger every year. All right guys, now this is another pot that I have going here in the garden. Um, this is a plant that I have been wanting to grow for several seasons. I tried a few seasons ago with seeds and it did not go well. I think I had gotten a bad batch of seeds, but this is chamomile. So I got found this at my local tractor supply in the herb section and I was so excited. I had to get one, I had to put it in this pot so that I can make my own tea later in the season. Lastly guys, I have my sage. This sage is going on two years old. Normally my sage dies over the winter, but this one came back. It never fully died because we did not have that harsh of a winter, but I hope to get a lot of use out of this herb plant this season. I do love to roast and bake chicken with sage. It just fills the house with such a pleasant aroma. Well friends, thank you so very much for coming with me on this little garden tour. I hope you really enjoyed it and that you learned something today. I'm thinking about making this whole gardening into a little series and give you guys monthly updates as to how my garden my how my garden is going. So if you have any questions, any skills that you would like to learn, leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. It really helps my community here on YouTube and Instagram to grow. And I will see you guys next week. Thanks. Bye.